This morning, our government is launching a $10 billion infrastructure plan to build stronger, healthier communities while helping Canadians get back to work. In fact, this plan alone will create about 60,000 jobs right across the country. Through the Canada Infrastructure Bank, this three-year growth plan will invest in everything from clean power, zero-emission buses and home retrofits, to broadband and irrigation infrastructure for farmers. This is a win-win. With smart, targeted investments, we can get people back on the job and grow the economy while building a healthy, sustainable future for everyone. I know that the Canada Infrastructure Bank can and must play a bigger role at this time of crisis, but also a time of opportunity to build back better. This huge opportunity is underlined by experts across Canada. The Advisory Council on Economic Growth emphasized the opportunity to leverage the trillions of dollars in institutional capital to meet Canada's growing infrastructure needs. The panel on sustainable finance encouraged Canada to take advantage of the huge opportunity of clean growth, including by using the Canada Infrastructure Bank. When more high-impact projects emerge, we are ready to invest more. Beyond this plan and its immediate priorities, the bank will continue developing ideas and working with partners across government and the private sector. The bank is ambitious. We want to build our presence in a range of areas, from large-scale urban transit to water systems to the new kinds of infrastructure that Canada needs to prosper in a digital age. The Infrastructure Bank is open for business and committed to investing to expand the potential of our economy to grow, potential to create jobs, to create opportunities for Canadians.